So, these are the hot springs of Yunohana. And the vast with quaint buildings. But what are these springs? And why are they hot? Here in Yunohana, naturally heated water comes bubbling up to the surface from beneath the ground. The water's chock full of minerals said to have all sorts of healing properties. People come from all over for a chance to soak in the springs and wash away their worries. Oh, I see. Yeah, and also the sweet buns. People come to wash away worries and sweet buns? Who would ever... And don't forget the eggs. And eggs, too? This doesn't sound very relaxing. No, no, they're just popular hot spring snacks. People don't wash them, they... Right, they get wrapped up and sold in gift shops. A minute, let me get this straight. After you soak sweet buns and eggs, you're wrapped up and sold off? Enough chit-chat, everyone. We need to get Yoko to the baths. The bathhouse lies yonder. Let us make haste. Wait! I'm not letting anyone wrap me in a sweet bun!
Greetings, travelers. Welcome to the bathhouse of Yunohana. I am Sakura, your humble attendant. Pray make yourself comfortable and let our warm, gentle waters ease your mind and body. All right, this is where we split up. Magnolia and I will look after Yoko. Thank you. I am in your debt. And remember you, no peeking. Well, who said anything about peeking? If you so much as think about it, you're in for a knuckle sandwich. Uh, who said I was thinking about it? Sheesh, what kind of person do you take me for? We know better than that, right, sir? I'll say, I'd never dream of doing such a thing. Oh, you guys are no fun. But you just said, woman's at best a contradiction still. I guess I still have a lot to learn. Oh, come now, we're just joking with you. But we should get Yoko to the baths. Adieu. And just so you know, I wasn't joking about that knuckle sandwich. Well, since we're here, what say we enjoy a bath as well? Great idea, sir. I've never soaked in a hot spring before. I shall join you. My road has been a long one. There's nothing like a nice hot bath. You can say that again, sir. Indeed. All the aches and pains of my road-weary body just seem to melt away. But look at those packs! It's like you're chiseled from solid stone! No wonder you're such an incredible swordsman. I guess I need to bulk up if I'm ever gonna be as strong as you. I would not say that, Master Yu. For a swordsman, it's not about the quantity of muscle, but the quality. You both have a lightness, which should serve you well with a blade. Do you really think so? Still, I've always wanted to be big and manly like you and Tiz here. A hundred push-ups a day from now on, I'm gonna get ripped! I don't believe it when I see it. <laughs> uh, what are you three doing here? We could not help but overhear your conversation. All this talk of muscles and the like piqued our interest. Did you hear that, sir? Tanzabro? They want to see some muscles. I say we show them some. I don't know about that. I too find the idea a bit embarrassing. Well, you heard them. No show for you today. Murgurgur. Who even said we wanted one? We just came to tell you that Yoko's feeling better, but I guess you don't care about that. Huh? But that's not what you... Oh, our minister is so cruel. Whatever is a princess to do? Now look what you did. We're going back, and remember, no peeking, or else... Knuckle sandwich. Well, uh, huh. they can look, but not us. It's not fair, I say. That's what they mean by a contradiction still. Well, I won't be the one to disappoint our audience. Sir, if I may be so bold, I say this calls for action. You? You can't mean... All that 
to talk about Knuckles' sandwiches? It's just reverse psychology. They want us to peek. This calls for a coup de gravy if there ever was one. You've sure grown up awfully quick. <clears throat> you forget, Master Yu, that the group of ladies of whom you speak includes my dear sister. If you insist on peeking, you will face my blade. On second thought, maybe you should reconsider? Ah, uh, yes. Expert advice, sir. Ah, <sighs> now that was refreshing. I'll say, but I think I stayed in a bit too long. I'm gonna go outside and cool off a bit. Don't wait up for me. Sure thing. We'll see you back in the room. <sighs> the breeze sure feels good. Fancy meeting you here, Minister. Yoko, is your wound all healed? Yes, and it is all because of you. You and your friends have our deepest gratitude. Ah, don't mention it. We're in your debt, too. If it weren't for you and Don Zabudo, we'd still be stuck in Eisenberg. Thanks to you, we can finally get after the Skyhold. We are pleased. Speaking of which, we would seek your counsel on a certain matter. You are the heir to a prominent House of Knights, are you not? I am. Why do you ask? Have you heard of a legendary blade known as the Sword of the Brave? The Sword of the Brave? You know of it, then? Uh, no, no. Um, I mean, what about it? We seek this Sword of the Brave. We would gift it to our Onisama. As Crown Prince, Onisama should one day rule this land. Or he would, were it not for our father's challenge. If you would succeed me, bring me the sword of the brave. These were father's words. But why? Onisama is brave, wise, and a peerless warrior. We can think of none more worthy of leading a nation. And yet, in truth, he does not share our father's blood. That is the reason for which father would issue this impossible challenge. Anisama gave up any claim to succession and left to wander the realm. But we shall not give up. We shall find this blade that Anisama might take his rightful place as Lord of Unohana. No! Trust me, Yoko. Forget about the Sword of the Brave. Why would you say that? The blade is cursed. It will bring you and your brother nothing but suffering. So, you know more about the sword than you let on, Minister Yu? Uh, I, uh, yes. I, um, read about it in history class. And perhaps you also know where it might be found? Uh, sorry. I don't recall more than that. Is that so? Well then, we will just have to find it ourselves. Yes, where might it be? Sealed away in Starkfort, mayhap? Or sleeping beneath Mount Karka in Geyser Grotto? Mm? <laughs> Aha! Our minister's reaction tells us we guessed true. No! I, I really, truly don't know. I'm sorry, Yoko. We understand. Pray forgive your princess. We did not mean to upset you. Good night, Minister Yu. <laughs> it's getting chilly. I should turn in before I catch cold. Morning, everyone. Morning. Did everyone sleep well? I would have, if not for Idiot talking in her sleep all night. What are you talking about? I never talk in my sleep. Is that so? Then why did I hear all about the ice cream parlor with all-you-can-eat parfaits? 
I talk about that when I'm awake. And the bakery where you made the owner build you a house out of brownies? Er, um... <laughs> All before swimming laps in your malted milkshake pool and then calling it a night on a bed of cinnamon mascarpone pancakes? <laughs> oh, you got me. Good morning, Tanzabro. Master Yu, have you seen my sister? Yoko? She isn't with you? When I awoke, she was nowhere to be found. Wherever could she have gone? Not Geyser Grotto. Oh, she couldn't have. Huh? But what would ever lead her there? We were talking last night, and, well, it just kind of came up. My sister? Alone in that treacherous place? Forgive me, friends. I must follow her at once. I have a bad feeling about this. We should go, too. Do you know where it is? At the foot of Mount Karka. Let's hurry. Lead the way, you.